Hello, Jesus Babies. Welcome back to Jesus Baby Club. Today we are in Genesis chapter 46. Thank you all for watching this channel, for watching all our videos. Please continue to give us your support. If you're just coming across this channel for the first time, please do where to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell, so you get to be up uh, notified every time we upload a new video. And that we do on a weekly basis by God's grace. For all our returning subscribers, God bless you. I hope this channel has been a blessing to you. Please share it with somebody. Last week, we talked about Genesis chapter 45. And can you remember our memory verse? Yes. Genesis chapter 45, verse 28. And Israel said, It is enough. Joseph, my son, is yet living. I will go and see him before my death. Very good, Jesus babies. Well done. Give yourself a Jesus baby clap. Genesis chapter 46 is the story of Israel's journey to Egypt. Now, Israel has already made up his mind that had already made up his mind that he was going to see Joseph in Egypt, and then he started his journey. And when he got to Beersheba, he offered sacrifices to God, the God of his father Isaac. And God appeared to him in Beersheba and told him, Don't be afraid, Jacob, to go to Egypt. Remember that Jacob is the same person as Israel. God told him, Don't be afraid to go to Egypt, for there I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and I will increase you there. And so, Jacob had confidence now, knowing fully well that God was with him. When God is with you, you have confidence. You don't be afraid of anything. And that was the situation of Israel at this moment. He was bold and he continued his journey without fear. He took himself, his sons, his sons' wives, his sons' children, all of them went to Egypt in the wagons that Pharaoh sent to bring them to Egypt. And the number of people that went with Israel to Egypt all together were 66 persons. And if you include Joseph's family, which were already in Egypt, that makes 70 persons from Israel as a family. Isn't that a great nation already? And yet God still promised him that he will make him a great nation in the land of Egypt. And so when they got to Egypt, Judah went ahead of them to inform Joseph that they were around. And Joseph came and met his father. And oh, the joy of reconciliation. You can imagine how it will be. They were both very excited and everyone was happy. And Joseph told them, when Pharaoh asks you your occupation, tell them that we are all shepherds from our youth. Remember who a shepherd is, Jesus' baby? A shepherd is someone that takes care of sheep. Well done, Jesus' baby. So that was the occupation of Israel and his children. And for that reason, they were given the beautiful city of Goshen to stay in. Because shepherds were an abomination to the Egyptians. So they cannot dwell in the same place with them. So that was how they settled into the land of Goshen. That is the story of Genesis chapter 46. Were you blessed by today's story, Jesus babies? Very good. Now, question time. Who is ready for my Bible quiz? Yeah, Bible quiz, Bible quiz. Jacob is also known as what? What is Jacob's other name? Remember God changed his name from Jacob to Israel. Very good. Well done, Jesus babies. Well done. Where did Israel offer a sacrifice to God? Beersheba. Well done, Jesus babies. And when he offered that sacrifice, what promise did God make to him? 
You are right. He said, don't be afraid to go to Egypt, for there I will make you what? A great nation. Well done, Jesus babies. Clap for yourself. Good, good. Very good for Jesus baby. Well done. How many were they, the family of Jacob that came from Cana to Egypt? How many were they? 66. Well done, Jesus, baby. Now, if you include the family of Joseph, we are, we are already in Egypt. How many members of Jacob's family do we have all together? 70. You're right. Well done, Jesus, baby. It's the wisdom of God is at work in you. Next question. What's the occupation of Israel and his family? Shepherds. Yes, they are shepherds. Well done, Jesus, babies. Give yourself a big clap. Another one. Super mighty one. Last question. What city in Egypt did they settle into when they got to Egypt? Very good. They settled into Goshen. Well done, Jesus, babies. All right, I'm going to take our memory verse. Who is ready for the memory verse? Memory verse. Genesis chapter 46, verse 3. And he said, I am God. The God of your father, do not be afraid to go to Egypt, for I will make you a great nation there. Well done, Jesus, babies. Let's say that again. Memory verse, Genesis chapter 46, verse 3. And he said, I am God, the God of your father. Do not be afraid to go to Egypt, for I will make you a great nation there. Very good, Jesus babies. Let's say together now. Memory verse, Genesis chapter 46, verse 3. And he said, I am God, the God of thy father. Do not be afraid to go to Egypt. For I will make you a great nation there. Very good, Jesus, babies. Give Jesus a big clap. Another one. Super mighty one. Give Jesus a big clap. Another one. Super mighty one. I want to be a good child. Well done, Jesus, baby. You continue to be a good child in Jesus' name. All right, we're going to take a song. And we're going to sing Abraham's blessings are mine. Because it's the blessings of Abraham that rubbed off on Israel. And we still rub off on you as children of Abraham in Jesus' name. Are you ready to sing Abraham's blessings are mine? Now you say, Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. I am blessed in the morning, in the noon, and in the evening. Abraham's blessings are mine. Are you ready to sing that with us, Jesus babies? Let's go. Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. I am blessed in the morning, in the noon, in the evening. Abraham's blessings are mine. Hallelujah. Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. Amen. I am blessed in the morning, in the noon, in the evening. Abraham's blessings are mine. Let's sing it one more time. Abraham's blessings are mine. 
Abraham's blessings are mine. Amen. I am blessed in the morning, in the noon, in the evening. Abraham's blessings are mine. Well done, Jesus, babies. Abraham's blessings continually will be yours in Jesus' name. As you continue to serve the Lord as Jesus' babies, you will enjoy the blessings of Abraham in Jesus' name. Okay, Jesus babies, I'll see you next week in our next class. Make sure you don't miss it. Bye.